baby, 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 baby. Welcome to Adventure Streaming, guys, and we have a slammer trip aboard the finale. Great offshore fishing. We have tuna, albacore, swordfish, mahi, sharks around the boat. We have part one and part two because we have so much awesome footage. Hope you enjoy. Hey, Captain Andy, appreciate the invitation. Anytime, guy. Where are we headed, Jeff? Uh, it's a top secret. <laughs> but um, I will tell you, it's south of Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> In the Atlantic Ocean. In the Atlantic Ocean? No. this chapter that you named the book last time in our video. What's the chapter of today? How to catch fish and not lose them. I like that one. That's a positive attitude. He had to do a little repair on the way out. What do we have to do in? My heat exchanger is leaking from a cracked cooling plate. And I jammed some putty into the, the weep hole at the top of the, of the cooler, which forced it to come out the weep hole in the bottom. And then I put a tube up into that weep hole so it would direct the spray down into my bilge. I put duct tape all around the alternator to protect it from seawater. We're good to go. This is West Atlantis. Coming into warm water here. What do you think, Jim? Perfect. Nice day. Good company. Excellent crew. Well, we got Carl coming on up to the helm. He's doing yeah. a superb job, Captain. <laughs> He's lying already. So tell us the story of how you got him to quit smoking cigarettes. Yeah, we used to go down to Maryland to work on an album that he bought. We were going down a weekend, and uh, we got down there, worked on it, put the motor in it, did all kinds of cleaning and painting on it and everything. And, and uh, I told him, I said, geez, you ever going to quit smoking? He said, no. I said, I'll tell you what, you owe me three grand for the labor. I said, I'll, we'll call it even if you can quit. And you have six months to do it. And he did it. That was really generous. Yeah. Look at our mascot. <laughs> That's hilarious. Captain Todd. Captain Todd, got a fish on here. Did you guys see it oh, hit? Todd. Good thing when he's in the chair. Why did you like that there, Todd? Is this worthy of a chair plate? <laughs> Todd, you just landed the first fish of the day. How was it? That was a good feeling to get these stink off the boat. Now we're able to catch some real tuna fish. 250 pound Dacron. The line's kind of bunched up in this bottle here. And then you can just kind of put the reel in gear and the reel for slack. And then it's got this collar tie the line to that slides. So this will be ahead of your rest. So it doesn't it doesn't get in the way of anything. So as the arrow leaves it slides back. Oh wow yeah. and then catches on there. It's got a barb that swivels. So when it goes in, the fish can't come out. But then you can manually move it forward so you can pull it backwards out. Is it? Okay. I'm saying 70. I'm saying 80. We gotta make us some room in the, in the 
the meat locker. That's like 85 to 90 pounds right there. little bit to the left of the um, canyon. Of where? The canyon. The big, big canyon. All right, what I do is I measure. I like to have the weight underneath the chin. And then I see where the turn on the hook is. So the turn on the hook is here, so I'll kind of put my finger there, and then I'll punch a hole. A little cheat mark so I know where to have the hook exit. Then I go in one side of the gill, and I thread the hook inside, and I find that same hole and come out of it. And then you gotta carefully push the eye inside the body so that you get the same length that you started with. Cause you gotta have it lay flat. It can't be like crinkled. It has to be like that or else it won't swim. And then this is the spring rig. So, the way these work is you're supposed to undo the spring first before you start. You have this piece of metal wire popping up that goes through the bottom of the chin and then up the top of their little lip, just like that. Now you can either put a rubber band around that or a piece of wire. This has a spring. Slide that over the bill. Catch it on the spring. And then crank it down. And that secures the bait. And then once you get that done, you snap off the bill where the spring ends. Then you got a bait that lays flat, moves nicely, and your head keeps from washing out. Shark we just cut off is swimming around the boat. Yep. Unless this is a big fat tuna. Yeah, we hooked him over there and he went under the boat. Don't hit the liver, whatever you do. Yeah, but wait till he changes the boat. He's gonna take off like hell. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a cool dog, I bet. That's fun, that nice little rod. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Doing a, <laughs> doing a good job. You haven't even broke a sweat yet. <laughs> well, I'm not good, it's too cold. I'm the only one that believes. It's a good tuna. Huh? It's a tuna. I know what it is. 
a nice tuna. I've never had a tuna. A live tuna looks a lot better than that sardine. A lot better than that blue shark, too. <laughs> huh, Jim? It tastes a lot better than a blue shark. I thought he didn't feel like a tuna. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Get your bow, come on, bow yeah, and arrow. Yeah, that's your chance. I would have shot him already. Bow yeah, landing. I would love to see that. Love to. What if I hit the line? He's doing the death circle yeah. now, finally. Oh, oh, here comes Mr. Mr. Fuck Shark. Oh, Uh-oh, there's sharks oh. right behind our tuna. Yes. Oh, man, dude. Oh, man. Why get a fucking fucker? Go Oh, oh, right. okay. yes. oh, oh, Watch save. out for that. Sure we just don't want that shark to get the so we can yep. get that face up so we start swimming up. That tuna guy came alive, didn't he? Yeah, he did. You see that shark up? <laughs> that big <laughs> shark. I'm gonna fight you. Yeah, that got him moving. You're like a house cat the way you move. Yeah. Got through that <laughs> obstacle course. Wait till you get to be 70. You're going to just like me. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Whoa, 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 watch out, watch out. You don't like looking at your boat. Hung up. Hung up. All right, great. There you go, you got it. Get him, Peter. No, 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 no. Let him run, let him run. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Joe. It's all right. No problem. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Is that the sharks here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll bet you. I'll bet you. I'm going to go for that. Now, the sharks here. Yeah, I know it's sharks. Oh, there he is. Sharks after all. Come on. He don't want to come up, does he? Jesus. Here he comes. Get him in the water. Get him in the water. Oh my god. Get him in the water. I'm going to back up. Get behind. Yeah, I'll come behind. You guys got him. You got him. There you go. Nice shot. There you go. That's how you yeah. do it. And nice. Look at that fight. shot in the gills, too, Randy. Good nice. job. Good work. Wait a second. Who do, you like? Who do you point out over there? You beat the shark and everything. <laughs> What are you thinking about? Nothing. It's just oh, a nice fish. It's a nice gaff shot, too. Nice and weighted shot. Oh, pretty. Tuna, tuna. Yeah, nice tuna, mahi. Up, mahi. Yeah, nice stuff. Nice to have an ice maker. Oh, yeah, isn't it nice? <laughs> I know. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch part two. And subscribe if you haven't already. Tight lines.